Welcome to this video on how to knit a body with a different colored stomach for any of the painted Cricut animals. You can also knit a simple body without a different colored stomach and that's easier for beginners or you can also knit a body that just has a smaller patch of color on the chest. If you'd prefer one of those patterns, look for those videos on my YouTube channel. I'll also include links in the description area of this video. Because you're going to stuff the animal, it's important that you have tight stitches that won't let the stuffing show through very easily. The best way I've found to do this is to use knitting needles that are at least two sizes smaller than what's recommended for the yarn that you're using. If you naturally knit tightly, then two sizes smaller may be good enough, but depending on the type of yarn, sometimes I have to go three to four times smaller. If you're not sure, Knit a few sample rows of stockinette and then try pulling your sample to see how easy it is to see through the stitches when it's stretched a little. You'll always be able to see through the stitches if you pull hard enough, but you just don't want very large holes that might even let the stuffing start to come out. The techniques and stitches you'll need to knit this body are knit and purl, basic increases and decreases, casting on and binding off, and intarsia. Since this is a pattern video, I'm assuming that you already know how to do the basic stitches like knit, purl, increase, and purl two together. So I'll tell you where to do these stitches, but I won't take the time to explain in detail how to do them. When we get to the intarsia technique, however, I'll slow down a little bit, but if you're not already familiar with it, you might want to brush up by first watching some videos on how to do it. Before we get to the pattern, just a few things. I knit in combination style, so it may look a little strange. It's faster and easier, especially for purling. You don't have to knit in combination style, but if you'd like to learn how to do it, look in the description area of this video for a link. Please like this video and share it with your knitter friends. Then subscribe to my channel so it can grow and more people can find my videos. After you click subscribe, if you click that little bell, You'll get notifications whenever I release new videos. Click show more in the description area to find lots of links to additional videos such as more animal and clothing patterns, special techniques and stitches that I use in my patterns, and ideas of where you can get yarn. When you've finished your project, please share photos. I've created a Painted Cricut Facebook page just for that. You can find a link for that also in the description area. And one last thing, if you prefer to work from a written pattern, you can also find links to the shops where I sell them in the description area. Okay, now let's walk through the pattern for a body with a different colored stomach. Before you start knitting, you should make sure you have a length of yarn in the main color that's long enough to knit about 350 stitches. You'll begin using this on row six, where the intarsia technique starts. The easiest way to get the second length of yarn is to either use a second ball of yarn or find the other end of the skein you're working with and simply knit with that. If you're able to do this, you don't need to measure or cut the yarn, but you will have to be careful that the two ends don't get twisted and tied in knots. If you don't have a second ball or if you're unable to use the other end of the skein, then you'll need to measure a length of yarn long enough for about 350 stitches. A very general rule of thumb that usually works with worsted or DK yarns is to measure about one inch per stitch, so that means you'd need a length of about 10 yards. To keep this length of yarn from getting tied in knots and tangled with the other yarn, I like to wind it into a butterfly bobbin. If you'd like to learn how to do this, look in the description area for a link to a video where you can learn more. Once you've got your extra length of yarn set aside, you're ready to cast on. Using the yarn from the skein, not the extra length that you set aside, cast on 28 stitches, being sure to leave enough of a tail to sew the back seam or legs with later. This cast on edge is at the bottom of the body and we're going to be working our way up to the neck. On row one, just purl across without any increases or decreases. 
Remember that I use combination style knitting, so if my purling and knitting looks strange to you, that's likely the reason. There are no increases or decreases on rows 2 and 3, so continue stockinette on those rows. Simply knit across on row 2 and purl across on row 3. Row 4 is an increase row. Knit the first 3 stitches, then increase 1. You can use whatever type of increase you like, but my favorite way of increasing is often called make 1. It's one of the most invisible increases. You make it by working into the stitch on the previous row just below the stitch on the right needle. Pull one leg of that V up onto the left needle and then knit into that stitch. Then you'll continue this pattern of knitting 3 and increasing 1 until you get to the end where you should have one stitch remaining. Knit that last stitch and with the increases you've done on this row, you should have 37 stitches. On row 5, just purl across without any increases or decreases. There's a lot going on in row 6. Row 6 is both an increase row and the row where we start doing the intarsia technique. The increase pattern on this row is knit 4 and increase 1, but as we're doing that pattern, three of the middle stitches are going to be done in the stomach color. So you'll start with the main color and repeat the K4M1 pattern four times, and then knit one more stitch in that color. That will give you 21 stitches of the main color. Then do three stitches of the stomach color. And don't worry about the hole that you'll see when you add the new color in the middle of the row here. We're going to use the tail to close that up later. Then grab the second length of yarn, either from the second ball of yarn, or the other end of the skein, or the butterfly bobbin, and begin knitting with it on the other side of the stomach. With our repeat pattern, we're at an increase, so your first stitch with this new yarn is an increase. If it's too awkward to do an increase as the first stitch with the new length of yarn, just simply knit the first stitch like normal, and then begin the repeat pattern. You'll just have one less stitch to knit at the end of the row, which isn't really a problem at all. With the second length of yarn, repeat this increase one knit four pattern four times, and then knit the remaining stitches. So you should have four increased stitches on each side of the stomach color. And with those eight increased stitches, you should have 45 stitches on your needle at this point. Rows 7 through 10 are done in simple stockinette without any increases or decreases. 
However, you will increase the stomach color by two stitches, one stitch on each side on each row. So that doesn't mean you're doing an increased knit stitch, you're just increasing how many of your stitches are actually done in the stomach color. So on row seven, you'll purl 20 stitches with the first color, five with the stomach color, and then 20 stitches again with the main color. Use the intarsia technique each time you switch colors. There are lots of blogs and videos that explain how to do intarsia, and you might want to review some of them first, but the basic idea is that we're gonna twist the old and new yarns in a new way that connects them to each other and ensures that there are no holes in the work where we switch from one color to the next. The old mantra you can use to remember how to twist is old over new. This means that you pull the new color that you're going to start using under the old one that you just finished using. So the new color goes under and the old color, the one that you just finished using, is over, old over new. Twist the yarns this way every time, whether you're knitting or purling. One more note on this intarsia technique. It's a lot easier when you're just following a vertical line. Unfortunately, rows seven through 10 form a diagonal line on each side of the stomach. But once we get to row 11, we'll start working with vertical lines, so it'll get much easier from there. On row eight, you'll knit 19 stitches with the main color, seven with the stomach color, and then 19 again with the main color. Remembering to twist the old over new each time you switch to a new color. On row nine, you'll purl 18 stitches in main, nine of the stomach and 18 of the main color. On row 10, you'll knit 17 in the main color, 11 in the stomach color, and 17 in the main color again. Row 11 is where we begin working decreases. From this point on, we also stop increasing the size of the stomach patch, so the intarsia technique is working with vertical lines, which is much easier. The decrease pattern on row 11 is purl 5 and then purl 2 together. Repeat this pattern across the row using the color of the stitch you're about to purl or decrease into. After doing all the decreases, you should have a total of 39 stitches. 15 of the main color, 9 of the stomach, and 15 of the main color again. Just knit across on row 12 using intarsia to twist the stitches 
as you switch colors to match what you did on the previous row. So again, you'll have 9 stomach color stitches with 15 main color stitches on either side. Row 13 is a decrease row again. If you haven't already noticed, I generally like to increase on the knit rows and decrease on purl rows. So on row 13, the pattern is purl 3 and then purl 2 together up to the last 4 stitches, which you'll just purl without a decrease. When you get to a point where the color changes, remember to use the color that matches the color on the stitch that you're working into. You should have 32 stitches, 12 of the main color on both sides, and 8 of the stomach when you're finished with row 13. Rows 14 through 22 are simple stockinette again, so just knit on the right side rows and purl on the purl rows without any increases or decreases. You should maintain the 8 stomach stitches with 12 of the main color on either side through all of these rows. On row 23 we decrease again. The pattern here is purl 3 and then purl 2 together. Do that across up to the last two stitches, remembering to use the color that you're working into. Purl the last two stitches and then you should have 26 stitches, 10 on each side of the main color and 6 of the stomach. Do simple stockinette on rows 24 through 30, maintaining the six stomach colored stitches in the middle. Row 31 is another decrease row. The pattern here is purl 2 and then purl 2 together. Do that across until you get to the last two stitches. Purl those last two stitches and you should have 20 stitches, which works out to 8 of the main color on both sides and 4 of the stomach.
Rows 32 through 34 are stocking knit again and just maintain those four stomach colored stitches in the middle. Row 35 is the final decrease row, and you'll purl the entire row in only the main body color. The pattern here is purl two and then purl two together across until the last four stitches, and purl those without decreasing. So you should have 16 stitches at the end of this row. Knit across the row on 36, all in the main body color. And continue using the main body color to bind off in purl on row 37. Cut the yarn at the end of row 37, leaving a, a tail that's long enough for sewing with when it's time to assemble your animal. You can use the tail ends to sew the holes that can appear if you stretch the piece where you started using a new strand of yarn. To close these holes, thread the tail onto a tapestry needle, and then carefully weave the ends in a way that sews the hole closed. In areas where you have two ends, you can often tie the two tails together on the wrong side. Since you're going to stuff the animal, the knots on the inside won't ever be seen. And that's it, you're done knitting the body with a different colored stomach. That's it for this video. If you haven't already knitted the legs, look in the description area for a link to videos that show how to knit the different leg variations. You can also find a variety of animal and clothing patterns on my YouTube channel. Look in the description area for a link to my channel where you can browse through the videos I've uploaded and get ideas. Also look for a video that shows my favorite tips and tricks for assembling all the pieces together once you've finished knitting the head tail, body, and legs. Look for that in the description area as well. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I release new animal and clothing patterns and share a photo of your completed project on my Facebook page. See you next time.